Greetings library patrons and welcome to the first in a series of tutorials about the accessibility features of Windows 8. We've upgraded half of the public computing stations to Windows 8 and plan to upgrade the other half within the year. Our goal in that year is to help our patrons become familiar with the features and services of the new operating system. Today's topic, Tutorial 1, Turning on the Screen Narrator. This tutorial will teach you how to access the Windows Accessibility menu and turn on the narrator, change the general settings of the voice narrator and what information it reads out, and change the narrator or voice settings. Let's get started. To access Windows Accessibility features, hold down the Windows Logo key and then press the U key. On screen you'll see a Google image search for Windows Logo Key, demonstrating what different versions of the key may look like. The Windows Logo Key is located between Control and Alt on a standard PC keyboard. When I press the keys, the accessibility menu is displayed. The topmost menu displays quick access to common tools. Navigate to Start Narrator, which is the second option displayed. The shortcut key for starting narrator is Alt plus the N key. When you turn on the narrator, the narrator settings window pops up. First, we're going to explore the general options. These control how narrator starts and other standard settings. General is the first on-screen option. The general narrator options are as follows. You can lock the narrator key so you don't have to press them for each command. You can start narrator minimized. You can echo your keyboard strokes while typing. Read out voiced narrator errors. Enable visual highlighting of narrator cursor. Play audio cues. Read hints for common items or lower the volume of other apps when narrator is running. In order to select or deselect any of the options, you simply click the checkbox next to the option. When you are finished selecting your options, choose Save Changes. Now we are going to change the voice settings for the narrator. Voice is the third menu option of narrator settings. The speed, volume, and pitch of the narrator's voice can be manipulated by a slider, but before we play with those, we might want to change the voice itself. Below the sliders, there is an option labeled, Select a different voice for narrator, followed by a drop-down menu. The default is set to Microsoft David Desktop, but there are two other voices to try, Microsoft Hazel Desktop and Microsoft Zero Desktop. Take a minute to test drive each voice and find the one you consider most pleasant. I'm going to choose Zira. You can also download more voice profiles to your computer by selecting the link below labeled Find Other Voices That Work With Narrator. Now that I've found the voice I like, I can further change its qualities to customize my experience. I can make the voice speed faster or slower by moving the slider back and forth. I can do the same with the volume level and the voice's pitch. When I have the settings I the way I want them, I choose Save Changes. This concludes our first tutorial on Windows 8 accessibility features. You're now ready to get started with the voice narrator function. To learn more about Windows 8 accessibility features, stay tuned to this series. Goodbye.